even their airport is below the sea level and there's an interesting fact they have the population of 17 million in a small region <laughs> Welcome back to my channel we learn together this is your host Harish and today I bring you another FTD facts video called 10 surprising facts about the Netherlands um, about the country Netherlands I only know about the place Amsterdam because in my previous job I have a buyer from the Netherlands which, with whom I used to contact so about, apart from that I don't have any information about the country about their culture uh, so let's dive in and learn about the country Netherlands. Excited to be exploring the country of Netherlands once again. It's a beautiful and amazing country that we're excited to add as part of our 10 Facts episode series. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And now if you love the Netherlands, you love Dutch people, leave a like on this episode. And also if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified of our daily episodes. So we got a lot of exciting and interesting facts to explore when it comes to the country of Netherlands. So let's just jump right in. One of the first things I gotta mention is that the country is also known as Holland. But that's basically because there was two regions, North and South Holland, which are part of the country. And sometimes if you tell people that you're from Holland, people may get a little bit annoyed because that's not necessarily the case. As well as it's hard to say like when exactly that term started to be used as a synonym for the Netherlands, but it's estimated that it probably happened after 1813 when Holland was removed from France and restored to the Netherlands. Another term you'll hear associated with the Netherlands is Dutch. And when it comes to Dutch men, they are the tallest in the world at a height of 182.5 centimeters, which works out to be five feet nine inches. While Dutch women rank second in the world for height, they stand at an average of 169 centimeters, which is five feet five inches. Although Europeans and Americans really towered over the average Dutch person back in the mid 18th century, Dutch men have grown more than 20 centimeters over the last 200 years, compared to just the six centimeters that Americans have grown. And now researchers say that it's not only due to the Dutch DNA, but also has to do with environmental factors like low social inequality, universal healthcare and nutrition, and also they factor in the consumption of dairy products. Did you know that the Dutch were the first in the entire world to legalize gay marriage? Some of you may know this, but it was Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands that signed into law the first same-sex bill, and that law came into effect on April 1st, 2001. Now, April 1st is usually celebrated as April Fool's Day, but no, this was no prank. It was actually a real law that passed. Also, the Netherlands is the lowest country in Europe. Now, it's like a real, like literal low country. 26% of the Netherlands sits below sea level and about 60% of the population lives five meters below sea level. Now its highest point is Valserberg, which is just 322 meters above sea level. And the lowest point is Zutplaspolder, which is seven meters below sea level. And Amsterdam, the capital, it's Schiphol Airport. That's where most visitors fly into the country and land in. Now that is three meters below sea level. Now let's talk about the population of the Netherlands. So how do they look when you stack up their population to other countries? It has the highest population density in all of Europe. And this is excluding countries that are just a few kilometers long, like Monaco. So like, as I was saying, the Netherlands is the most densely populated country in all of Europe. Now they have a total population of 17 million people and they live in 41,500 square kilometers. And that works out to a population density of about 500 people per square kilometer. Now this makes the country rank 69th in the world in terms of total overall population. Halfway in at fact number five, let's talk about Amsterdam a little bit, the nation's capital. Now it is filled with over 200 different nationalities and it makes it one of the most diverse capitals in all of Europe, well, let alone the world anyways. It has a population of over 821,000 people and then the city of Rotterdam comes in second Second place overall with 623,000 people and then the hog has over 514,000 people and that's a pretty interesting name for a city the hog like 
I've never heard a city with the in front of it. Very interesting. Now here's another very interesting fact. I absolutely did not even know this at all, but the Dutch introduced orange carrots to the world. Yeah, Dutch carrot growers, they developed orange carrots back in the 16th century. And this was because they carefully bred existing varieties of carrots. Now at that time, carrots were different colors. They ranged from pale yellows to purple. I thought that carrots were just orange and that was it. Carrots were never any other color. But no, we can thank the Dutch for the orange carrots that we see today. Now over in the Netherlands, they don't just speak Dutch. There's actually multiple languages. You know, there's a province called Friesland and it has a language known as Friesian. Also, there's English as well as another language called Papiamento, which sounds a little Latin, but no, it has Portuguese roots. Also, the Netherlands owned islands in the Caribbean, like St. Eustatius and Saba. Then there's also St. Martin with a huge Dutch population. And St. Martin and Curacao are considered autonomous countries of the Netherlands. And even the island known as Aruba are listed as autonomous countries of the Netherlands, which pretty much means that they have freedom from external authority. When it comes to gin as we know it today, it was invented as Yenever in the Netherlands in the 16th century, and it was originally used for medicinal purposes. Nowadays, gin and Yenever aren't exactly the same thing anymore, and the name Yenever can only be used for that kind of liquor made in Belgium, as well as the Netherlands and two northern French departments and two German federal states. And the final fact I want to share about the Netherlands is that Amsterdam is actually supported by millions of poles. No, for real though, most of Amsterdam's buildings are built on these wooden poles that are between 15 and 20 meters long. And a typical house in a city center is supported by about 10 poles. But Amsterdam's royal palace now, that sits at 13,500 wooden poles. But anyways guys, that's all I have for you in this episode. That was 10 surprising facts about the Netherlands. It's such a beautiful and unique country, honestly. Like a lot of these things just like really blew my mind when I was doing research for this episode. But definitely I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Damn. Do you know about this interesting fact about the Amsterdam? If you do, please, if I missed out anything, please mention that in the comment section below because there was so much information about the country, about the Netherlands that I was not aware of. Even their airport is below the sea level. And there's an interesting fact, they have the population of 17 million in a small region. And I also got fascinated that they have more than 200 nationalities living in the country Netherlands Amsterdam, specifically in Amsterdam region. It's so much interesting facts. I hope you have learned something new with this information. Uh, please, if you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and share your feedback in the comment section below. I'll try to bring more information about more countries. And please also don't forget that I will specify a few more facts in the description below which, you, which might help you as additional knowledge. If you like this video, again, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and share your feedback in the comment section below. Peace out. Bye.